All right. Well, let's get going. Hopefully some more people will be trickling in um, as we're we're getting through this. Um, let me lay out the agenda for today's call. It should be pretty quick. Uh, and as I said, for people that didn't hear before, this call is geared towards users, new users of the platform or people that need a refresher, just need to get more comfortable on our platform. Um, but today we're going to be going over the App Nevada dashboard and we're going to be going through um, most of the main features that you'll need to get your first promotion up and running and just get more comfortable with navigating uh, around our system. Uh, and then once we get done with that, we're going to have some time for some questions and answers. So as we're going, please feel free to chat in questions uh, through the chat. I do have my team on this call that will be able to answer them as we go. But then at the end of the call, we'll have some time to answer those um, one on one. So let's get started. Let me switch over to the Aptivata dashboard. All right. So as I mentioned today, we're just going to be going through all of these, all of the, the main features you're going to need to be comfortable with Aptivata and, and learn how to set up your first promotion or sweepstakes. Um, so we're going to be going through this left navigation bar. This is what you use to navigate Aptivata. So when you first sign in, you land on our homepage. Uh, this first stats overview page will give you just a quick recap of how your current account is doing. Um, show you the total activity, the basic audience demographic information that you're gathering, and then some of the top promotions of 2020. Um, I'm actually looking at my dummy account, so we're going to be seeing some a lot of testing things, so just keep that in mind as we're going. Uh, yours should look a little better than mine. Another profile or another or page or report to look at on this home view is our network stats. So if we click into this, you'll see an even more in-depth report on your account. You can see how many people have entered your your promotions throughout the month, how many total users you have in your account, how many users you've gained over the last 30 days, and how many users you have engaged with your, your account in the last 30 days. Uh, and then just some more information on any child accounts that you might have beneath uh, your account. So this is a great quick quick stat uh, review as you just sign in you can see how things are going in your account all right let's jump down into the user profile we're not going to spend a lot of time here uh, but one thing i wanted to point out is how you can change your password it is a little bit hidden um, but if you click on the user icon there's a drop down menu and then you click into user profile from here, you can edit your basic information like your email address, your name, your phone number, and then from here, you can reset your password. All right, let's keep going. The world icon is used for navigating around if you have multi access to multiple accounts. Um, a, lot of, a lot of our clients have market accounts that they're admins on, and so if you need to go to one of your individual station's account, uh, you can come to the world icon and search for that account here. And so I actually have an account called Matt's Child, which I can search for, or I can actually add that account to my favorites, which just makes it easier uh, to navigate to and not have to type it in. All right, so that's the world icon. That's the navigating around uh, Aptivata and around different accounts. Next, let's jump into our account manager. The account manager is where you'll come to see uh, which admins have access to your accounts and where you'll also see a full list of the, the, the accounts that you have access to or the child accounts that are on under your main market or parent account. So if I click into the details, there's a couple menus here. We're not going to go through everything today, um, but this is where you can come and see the admins that have access to the account and see some of their permissions or remove them if you have that permission. Uh, one, one other thing to point out, this is actually pretty new. We actually have the ability now to download a CSV or a list of all of the admins that are on your account as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you are one of those uh, super admins of your account, you have the ability to download uh, that information. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm going to skip over the promotions tab for now because that's where we're going to end the call. We're going to go through setting up a, a basic sweepstakes and just make sure you're comfortable with that. So let's jump down into user base. Our user base application is used to query your database or to find users that have entered previous promotions. So first of all, we can search for one specific user. So let's say you have a user that calls in and says, hey, I'm having troubles with Enterka promotion. Uh, you can come and look for their information. So if I search mattadaptivata.com, 
I can find that specific user in my database. And it doesn't look like I'm even in there. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to, you can also find segments of your, your database. So if we add a segment and then create filters or conditionals, we can find specific users that match these criteria. So as an example, let's say we wanna find users that are over or older than 18. Oops, let's do greater than. We'll do greater than 17 and their gender is male. For whatever reason, let's say we need to find users that match this criteria in our database. We can click find matching users. And if you scroll down, you'll see a full list of everyone that matches that criteria. Uh, as I said, I don't have a lot of information on my test account. Um, hopefully you'll see a lot more. But what's great about this view is you can click see all activity on one of your users and it'll pull up all of the information you've gathered on them. And then if you click into contest editors entered, you could see all of the promotions that they've entered in the past. So there's a lot of data gathering happening here and you have access to all of that information in the user base application. Perfect, let's move on. Let's jump into our templates uh, feature. Our templates feature, uh, we have about 500 pre-built templates for you to utilize. And so these are great for you when you need to get a promotion up and running quick, or you don't have the bandwidth uh, to have someone create the graphics for you uh, for an upcoming promotion. So as you can see, we have our promotion, our templates tagged out and categorized. So we have a lot of social distancing and COVID-19 things out right now to try to help you guys uh, stay relevant during this time. But um, as you can see, we are also breaking, breaking these up into different application types. So you can see the sweepstakes promotions, the quiz, the gallery, poll, and then our, our pro form. Um, so just an example, if you wanted to use one of these, you can click on it. And then all you have to do is click add to your promotions. And that will take you to the setup page, which I'm going to show you here in just a moment. All right, so let's jump into our promotions tab. Uh, this is really where you're gonna be spending a lot of your time. And uh, this is where you're gonna come to set up promotions, to manage them, to look at the stats, to download information, right? There's a ton of things that you can do here. Um, and, and this is really where the meat of everything happens within AppDevada. But before we jump into actually creating a sweepstakes, let me talk about uh, one great feature that we have here at the very top of your promotions page. And that is your active grid or promotions grid. And that's everything you see up here at the top. So our promotions grid will take all of your live contests and make them put them into one central location. And so just to showcase this, it's a little easier just to show you what it looks like in action. Um, so we have this examples page that we use to just showcase our product. Um, but if we come to the contesting tab, you will see the promotions grid, which these are all of the live promotions that are running on this specific account at this time. And so for your users, that's a very um, user friendly feature so that they don't have to dig through multiple pages just to find all of your contests. They can find them all right here. And if I wanted to, to enter one of them, all I have to do is click into it and it would bring the contest up for me. Uh, the only thing that I wanna mention here that and just to be aware of is if you only have one promotion running at a time, then that promotion will, will be showing live um, when they land on that contesting page. So they won't have to click into the thumbnail is, is what I'm getting at. It'll just be full width um, as if you embedded the promotion there uh, in the first place. Okay, so let's jump into building our first sweepstakes. So at the very top is where you're going to create your promotion. Um, and depending on your account, you're going to see a couple different options here. Obviously, mine is a, is a dummy account, so I see all of the application types that we have. But um, if you are interested in learning more about any of these, feel free to chat in and we can answer questions about that. But we're going to focus on sweepstakes today uh, just because sweepstakes is, going to, is probably the most used uh, application type that you will, I mean, the, the application type you're going to be using the most. Um, and it's really one of the most simple applications to set up. And if you're familiar with doing this, you're going to be pretty set on setting up any of our other promotions as well, or application types, I should say. So we give it a title, the, our promotion title, and we can give it prize text. So let's just say, let's click this one, free round of golf plus a gift card. Uh, and then there's also some syndication type information that we can set here. You're only going to see this option if you do have child accounts. Um, and if you have any questions about that, feel free to chat in. We can answer those. 
So I'm going to create this promotion and let's just go through this. And we're going to try to keep this a uh, pretty high level. Here's one of our product tours. If, if this is your first time setting up a sweepstakes, you're going to see some of these tours that will walk you through this virtually, um, but we're going to go through it today together. So uh, like I said, we're going to keep this pretty simple and just hopefully give you everything you need, the basics uh, to get a promotion up and running or uh, sorry, a sweepstakes up and running. Um, and really you can go from the very top to the bottom. And as, as, as you can see up here at the top, we have some basic setup steps that check off as you, as you complete them. Um, so this is a great way, especially if you're new to the platform for you to just double check and make sure you have everything done correctly. Um, so as you can see, our schedule is not checked. So I can actually click on the schedule and it will show me where I need to fill the, fill in the information to complete that step. So let's give this promotion a start and end date. And let's just have it run from today till tomorrow. And then at the bottom, we have some sliders to change the time, the hours and minutes. Uh, and then if you click into our more settings tab, there's a couple of things here that I just want to point out. Uh, you have the ability, um, what you, you have the ability to edit your own custom rules. So if you click edit terms and conditions, you can copy and paste your rules in here or or use um, a template that you have already. Okay, so we're going to hide that and let's actually get into the form and the background image and, and everything uh, to set up our sweepstakes. So as you can see, it's pretty plain right now. So if we wanted to upload a background image, all we have to do is click upload. For you really quick to show you what this um, but then as, as you can see we can also drag and drop our form around so when you upload a background image you might want to get it out of the way of some text just like this this example here so let's pull it here to the bottom that looks pretty good uh, let's say as an example we wanted to add some text to our, our sweepstakes as well on top of the background image without having to edit it within Photoshop or whatever photo or image editing software you use we can just add an overlay box that sits right on top of the background image and we can add texts here, we can add images or links. So this is also a great way to add sponsor logos to a promotion. Um, but for now, I'm just going to add some text. So enter the giveaway below. Um, really basic, uh, I'm not gonna get into <laughs> making that look pretty, but as you can see, you can drag and drop these around and resize them um, as well. So that's our overlay box and, and background image editing. Let's get into the form. The form is really the most critical part of this sweepstakes. This is what your users are going to interact with to enter the promotion. As you can see, our form is broken up into four simple steps. Step one, we're going to gather email addresses and set how many times the user can enter our promotion. So you, as you can see here at the very top, once, twice, three, all the way to infinity, we'll say they can answer, enter once per hour. Um, then we can also add different ways of collecting an email address. Uh, Facebook and email are the default, but we can uncheck those or add more if we would like. Uh, so let's say we wanted to add Google as a way of entry, as a form of entry as well. And it's that simple. So step one done, we're gonna gather an email address through that step. Next is step two. Step two is where you're gonna gather your user's information. So this is really where you need, uh, you know, when you're needing phone number, um, we already gathered, we already gathered, gathered the email address from step one, but you know, zip code, address, things like that is what you would put on step two. So it's as simple as clicking add field, going to user fields, and let's just, for an example, add user zip to our form. And once you add a form or a, an entry field to your form, it'll take you to the the settings menu of that field. So you can change the label if you'd like. Um, every, field will, every field setting will be a little bit different depending on the field. We can change the country on this field setting and then we can make it required for entry or not. Um, so step two, typically we're gonna have required entry or required information, but that is up to you on how you wanna handle that. The last thing that you'll want to edit is the repeat type. So if in our example, users can enter the promotion once per hour. So the first time I enter, I have to give this information. The next time I come in, we can change the way this field 
uh, interacts with the user. So we can have it auto-complete after first completion, meaning once I've finished this field, I never have to give it again in this promotion. I can have it hide after first completion, which it'll completely pretty much remove it from the form after I, after I give that information once. And then lastly, the always show um, means that if I leave this as always showing, every time I enter promotion, I'm gonna have to give this information. Um, and just for our user experience sake, we're gonna leave that as autocomplete after first completion. That way they don't have to enter that information every single time they enter. Okay, next we're gonna go to our step three. Step three is where we're going to incentivize users to perform specific actions. Uh, so if we add a couple fields, I'll show you what this looks like. So this is where we're going to ask users to follow us on social media, to take a survey, to visit a website, to visit a location, right? There's tons of options here. And I encourage you after the call to come through and look through all of these so you can get familiar with them. Um, but for this, this promotion, let's say our main goal is to drive social media traffic. So I'm going to add a Facebook like to the form. And let's do, let's just leave as Facebook at Aptivata or Facebook.com Aptivata. And, and one thing to note here, <laughs> uh, Facebook does not allow us to give, give away bonus entries. That is just one of their rules. So if you see a smiley face, that's why. But let's go through and add a different one to give you a better example. Let's say follow Aptivata on Instagram. Instagram, our Aptivata's username is Aptivata. And then let's say they get five bonus entries for taking, for completing this action, right? So it's as simple as that. Click add field and then add the field that you would like and then specify how many bonus entries a user can receive for performing that specific action. Like I said, there are plenty of options here. So please go through and look through these so that you can understand exactly what you can accomplish through one of these sweepstakes. All right, so then next, let's jump into step four. Step four is displayed to the users once they get to the very end of the promotion, and it's a thank you message. And this is a great place to put more information about the promotion, about your sponsor, or about your station. Um, and it's just a basic text editor that you can add images, links, text, uh, and you can, you can really get creative here. And that's it for the form. It's a very simple process. And, and like I said, if you are familiar with setting up our sweepstakes form, you'll be pretty confident and comfortable in setting up any of our other promotion types uh, in their forms. Okay, so our, now that our form and our background image is uploaded, now the next, next step is to jump into the mobile setup. The mobile setup is very simple. All you have to do is upload a mobile header image. And that's because the desktop image is just, it's not gonna fit <laughs> in a mobile device. And the form takes up a majority of the screen anyway. Um, and as you can tell, the form is automatically brought in so you don't have to worry about editing that part at all. Uh, and then once you get that, the mobile sponsors, this is kind of to take place of any sponsors that you might have put in an overlay box. Okay, and then the other things to, to note here on the mobile setup is the promo grid image, the Facebook share image, and then the Twitter share tweet text. So the pro promo grid image, grid, so when it's displaying on your list, Looks like it's been a little slow on me. Let's do a refresh and jump back in. Okay, and then let me upload our So you actually have the ability to on Facebook or Twitter. So we can upload the image and then change the text. So I just entered to win a, I believe it was a golf pass. <laughs> I can't remember, but we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, and you can do the same for the, the Twitter sharing information. And that's it. The mobile setup is very simple, um, but also very critical because most of your users are most likely coming through their mobile device. Okay, and then last thing to set up here is the confirmation emails. These are optional, um, but what this is, is it'll send an email to every single user that enters your promotion immediately after entering the promotion. Um, and these are very... Um, beneficial and successful. We've seen some really good open 
really good click through rates and open rates with this this type of email just because the users know where it's coming from they just entered the promotion um, and the great thing with this is you can add some additional information about the promotion more information about your sponsor or even have bounce back offers like a coupon to your sponsor uh, your sponsor store or whatever it may be um, so all you have to do is click turn it on and you will get this this little notification saying confirmation emails will be enabled for this promotion your account may be charged minor additional fees those fees don't kick in until you send 2500 emails and after that it's five dollars per thousand emails sent so it's a pretty minor fee uh, just to cover that um, on our end and that's it once you get all of the all of those three steps done your sweepstakes is set up uh, the next thing that you'll want to do is embed the promotion. So to do that, you come up to your publishing options and we'll click on the embed on a web page tab. And on this page, you're going to see a couple different options for you, depending on the, the platform your, your website is built on. Um, but it's, it, it's as simple as copying, pasting this information into your website and then letting it run. Um, one more thing that you want to make sure you do is embedding the URL that you place this promotion on. And what that does is going to help this short link that we have direct to your website. And so instead of going to an Aptive Auto landing page, it'll go to the website, the, the page that you embedded the promotion on. Um, but, and once you do that, your promotion is ready and you just let it run. And when it, the time comes to pick a winner, all you have to do is come into the setup page and click choose winner. Um, there are a couple other tabs here. They're pretty self-explanatory, so we're not going to go through all of these in detail. Uh, but I did just want to point this out for you. And um, one other thing you can do on the winner tab is view all of the entrants of your promotion. Um, and then if you would like, you can also search for a specific user under the download tab. And that's it. I mean, it's a very simple process. I hope uh, this was beneficial for you, but now we have some time for some questions. So let me jump over back to my presentation and then let me pull up the questions and we'll answer those as we go. Oh, and also we do have a poll for you. This is kind of a, a a test webinar. So if you found this this after this webinar beneficial, please fill out that that poll that just showed up for you, uh, and and that would be helpful so we know if we need to do these more in the future. Um, so let me pull up my chat and answer any questions if they have not been answered. Actually, it looks like my team has been answering all of them. Um, if you have any other questions at this point, we'll we'll give you a few minutes to chat in. Uh, and let me just look through these real quick. Here we go. All right, Gene, interested in seeing a virtual remote? Uh, oh, it looks like Tim answered that. Yeah, please uh, schedule time with us and we'll go over that application type with you. Perfect. All right, well, if, if everyone doesn't have any, if there's no other questions, um, I will let you go. Oh, I, I apologize. One more thing I wanted to mention here is the resources that we have available for you as a new user and, and for current current you know, users as well. We have our help center with all of the articles that our support team has written. That is at help.aptivata.com. We also have an idea studio, which is full of idea, you know, ideas and templates and things that you can come up with to make sure your promotions are successful. Our support team's email address is support at aptivata.com. Their phone number is 801-901-2011. And then also we have a live chat feature within our Aptivata platform. And you'll see that in the bottom right, there's a little chat icon. Uh, but I appreciate your time today. I hope you guys, this was beneficial to you. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to chat in to our support team and we'll answer those. Thanks.